stretching. We can use stretching to stretch, let's say, an architectural living room or to make a bolt longer or shorter. We're going to use the stretch command for this. And we're going to come up here into the modify panel and we're going to go to the stretch command. Now this command is a little bit different that we must use a crossing box, a crossing lasso, or a crossing polygon. It's very important that you do that. So I'm going to pick the stretch command and when it says to select objects, I'm going to do an implied crossing that's from lower right to upper left. And now it's very critical when you do the crossing that you don't select everything. That won't work. You have to pick part of it. Think of it as if you're going to stretch me. Someone has to hold my ankles down and the other part gets pulled by my neck or whatever. So I'm going to come in here and cut this in half. And so the left half will be stationary and the right half will be stretchable. Okay? And then I'm going to hit enter when I've selected those items. Now it's going to ask for a base point. Where am I grabbing on to me by? If I'm grabbing me by the neck, okay, that's I'm grabbing it by the neck. If I'm grabbing by the arms or whatever. So in, in this case, I'm just going to grab it by an endpoint. Where you grab it is kind of arbitrary, but you might want to grab it by things that you can measure from. So I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to stretch it. I can either make it bigger, or I can make it smaller, okay? And I could go on a tilt if I want. I'm going to turn on my ortho, and I'm going to stretch it out by, say, I can do it dynamically, or I can key in a value such as 10, and I stretched it out 10 units to the right. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to go to the stretch command. I'm going to pick from lower right to upper left. I'm going to cro run a crossing window through it. I'm going to hit enter. This time I'm going to pick uh, by an endpoint and I'm going to drag it to the left. And I can dynamically drag it if I want. And whoop, whoop, undo that. That didn't work so good. I got one more time, sorry. Uh, a little snap. I got to turn my snap. Snaps off there. Um, I'm going to do a crossing window. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to pick on that and now I'm going to come along and I'm going to turn off my snaps now and I can do it dynamically okay now let's just see what happens when we go the other direction I'm going to do a crossing window across the top half I'm going to hit enter where you pick for your um, base point really doesn't matter I'm going to pick just out in space and I'm going to move it upwards and make it fatter of a tank. Okay? So stretching, the important part is that we use a crossing window or crossing polygon or crossing lasso. And we leave some of it anchored down and some of it selected by the crossing window. And I can then stretch it with one part being anchored down.